Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Revolution 3 Let's Play. So, in this episode, I'll briefly tell you what I've been doing. First, um, I've been doing Agricraft up on the roof. I have been breeding sugarcane, and I have level 5 sugarcane seeds uh, on the way to full triple 8. Um, 542, I think is where I'm at right now. It's going pretty well. Um, in the meantime, this has been running. Uh, as non-stop as possible. I haven't set up a method to pull this stuff out of the furnace automatically. But we've got eight stacks of ethanol, which I, I'm pretty sure, I believe, is, is enough to start firing up the rock melter um, to get some lava. Now, there's actually no point in doing that yet because we don't have the obsidian factory. So, we just need to craft that. And then we will craft ourselves another... Well, we have more... We have bevel gears. But I also need to power the obsidian factory. <laughs> it requires uh, 32 kilowatts at uh, 2.48 kilowatts. Uh, let's gra grab our <laughs> rotary craft handbook. I thought I kept one in my inventory, but I didn't. I was doing agricraft, so I put it away. And we will see what we need. So, we need 32 kilowatts. It can't be anything that uses... I mean, 32 kilowatts is double this. So, 32 kilowatts is half of a gas engine. It's two steam engines. It's, uh... uh well, it's too many of these. <laughs> it's like eight. Um, so, yeah. I think what we'll end up doing is we will uh, store up a whole load of lava uh, with the rock melter. And then we will use the same gas engine uh, to run the um, the other thing. <laughs> Obsidian factory. Ugh. All right. I've been playing a lot of... You know what I've been playing a lot of? I've been playing a lot of a game called Grim Dawn. Um, if you are on our Discord, which you should totally join, um, you, you'll have seen me on there a lot. Where did I put the stuff that I had? Where did I put my stuff? Oh, did I put it on the roof? Like, I had all my stuff, and then I think I put it away so I could have inventory space. But now I gotta get my stuff back. See, here we have the, the uh, sugarcane farming area. I've got... My best seed is a 154. Okay, we're getting there. And we've got a, a 354. That's my best one. Oh, no, it's not there. Where did I put all of my HSLA? And also my, um... Boop to do Huh. It's not here. Is it here? No. Here? No. Alright, it must be in one of these black chests. There it is. Like that. My bevel gears. Uh, okay. Alright, Obsidian Factory, on the way. Let's, um, stick some, uh... Why is it giving me one at a time? There we go. Let us go ahead and get this going. This has to get to a thousand C in order to uh, actually start making lava. Yeah, it's going up pretty quick. So run for an hour, so I don't need to put any more in. Sweet. That's what that means, right? That's an hour, right? Not a minute. Yeah, it's an hour. Sweet. So while that runs and warms up, we'll go ahead and make our obsidian factory. I need a glass pane. Now I know I have glass panes made. I needed want some for the, uh... I needed some for the, uh, crop analyzer, the seed analyzer, whatever it's called. Was it up on the roof? Probably up on the roof. Let's go up there and check it out. 
Hey, we're already at 666 here. Of course, it's going to slow down as it uh, now. It's not going to heat up as quickly, I don't think. But we should be able to hit 1,000, no probs. I need to get myself some more potentia. That, or I need to get jet fuel and make myself a, back, uh, a jet pack. Which is probably a good idea. Hey, look! Me pumpkins! <laughs> the pumpkin seeds look too much like... Um, they look... They look too much like uh, weeds, in my opinion. But look, we have a pumpkin now. Um, maybe I can make some pumpkin pie in Minecraft, since I was making real pumpkin pie yesterday. Which we ate today, and it was delicious. Love pumpkin pie. I think it's my favorite pie. Well, no, it's actually not my favorite pie. My favorite pie, liquid pipes. I need to craft some more, or do I still have some laying around? My favorite pie is actually... Let's see if we have some more liquid pipes lying around. Sweet potato pie, or it's a it's a it's a it's really a fight between sweet potato pie and uh, what was I looking for again? Well, seriously, oh, liquid pipes. It's seriously a fight between sweet potato pie and strawberry rhubarb. I guess I don't have any more. Well, then I better grab this glass. Or wait, do you, does it use panes? Ugh. No, it's glass. Is this a thousand degrees yet? Ooh, it's almost a thousand degrees. And... Thousand degrees. It's now... It should now be running. It's operational, it says. It's going to take a while for this to actually produce enough lava for us to actually use, since we don't have the power to make it run faster. Unless, oh, I don't know. I could probably make it run faster. So, we'll make ourselves some liquid pipes. Then we need to make a mixer, which is an impeller, and blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Impeller. Do do do. Mixer. Base panels. And there we go. Work table. As you can tell, I'm in a very good mood today. Um, you basically because of the pie. <laughs> no, not not all only from because of the pie, but it definitely helps. You know, pie is awesome. Minimum speed, 2.048 uh, kiloradians. So, uh, I need a gearbox. I need a 4x four gear, uh, four gearbox. At least. But if I, it, it runs very fast. The Obsidian Factory runs perfectly fast enough. Alright. So, we need a 4x uh, gearbox. Gearbox. Your Bose. What are these integrated gearbox upgrades? I want to know. Um, I can get away with stone, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's check the book. I always forget what the tolerances are. Transmission shafts. Oh, it doesn't tell me here. Info. Shaft load limits. Yeah, perfectly fine. 11,561 uh, 11, radians. 958 newton meters. I'm pretty sure that'll work, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be well within that requirement. So let's do some stone. Stone gearbox, 4 to 1. Uh, I need stone slabs and... Smooth stone, which I'm sure I have plenty of. Well, I've got 13 smooth stone. It's not going to be enough, is it? There's my stone slabs. That's probably not enough, is it? Come on, where's the stone one go? Stone 4 to 1. 5 stone slabs. Do, 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 do. What? Ah, it's five. 
Yeah, I need more stone, smooth stone. Do do do, stone rods, indeed. That'll be fine. Do do do, do do do, stone, two little X gear unit. Let's go grab some cobblestone and throw it in the furnace. Our uh, sludge can take a break since we've got plenty. Cobblestone in there, put the sludge back in there, pull the ethanol out. Eight stacks of ethanol. Loving it. And since I got my sugar and cane now, I've got tons of yeast. I should really set up a, a piping system. We're up to two buckets of lava already. Two and a half buckets. And this will run for another 57 minutes. <laughs> oh, great. Fantastic. Um, yeah. Stone. Alright, more stone gears. Do, 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 do. Gears. Need more stone. So I've been looking into games to, to get, like, interesting games. Now, I've been playing Grim Dawn because it's a really fun RPG. If you if you like Diablo, uh, Diablo, you should check out Grim Dawn. I'm not being sponsored by them. I just, I really like the game. It's really fun. I've been playing the, um, it's, a, it's a game where you get to, uh, it's got a, a dual classing system. So you, you, you pick a class when you first start the game. And then when you get to level 10, you pick a second class and you get to level them up independently. And it's really cool the way that the skill system works is you got to put in, uh, I'm going to need some, um, going to need some freaking lubricant. That's another thing we need to do. Yeah. Need some freaking lubricant. So let's place down a bevel gear. Another one. We'll just stick it there. And we'll set the input to north and the output to up. And we'll stick down our obsidian factory. And uh, we'll have to stick our gearbox right here. Boop. That is turned the wrong way. Turn it around. Come on. There you go. Now it's turned properly. And we need to put this into uh, the speed mode. Boop. Speed mode. There we go. All we have to do is slap this on there, and it'll run. Of course, we can't just slap that on there. We have to put the lava in here. The problem is we don't want to put the lava in there until we have water in there. So, first things first, water supply. Um, boop. Boop. Doop, doop, doop. doop 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 There we go. Filling her up with water. This thing can actually hold quite a lot of water. 320,000 mill buckets? Holy cow. I don't think I want to fill it up that much. Uh, I think it I forget how much it uses, but we're not going to need to fill it up that much. Holy darn. Holy cow. So, we do want to put our lava into the... Ah, crap. It's lighting my floor on fire. I should have seen this coming. It's because these pipes are hot. I should have seen this coming. Let's just chop those uh, pieces of floor out. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Oh, Rika, I'm sure you have a laugh as you burn everything, to, everything down that we've worked hard for. <laughs> they didn't used to do that, but it makes sense. Okay, so we've got now 22,000 of water. I think that'll be enough. Um, 22,530 of water, 4,476 mill buckets of lava. All we have to do is put some power on it and it'll be enough to run. Now I should actually, I'm gonna make another gas engine because, uh, but yeah. We need to make a grinder, we need to do canola, we need to get some freaking lube up in here. So, Mr. Grinder, give me a dream. Saw. All right. It's just me, or does this thing require more steel now? Do do. 
I need a gear and two saws. Did it always require saws? I don't actually remember. I made so many. I've made so many of these. You'd think I would remember. But I've been trying to find like uh, interesting games to play, and uh, Grim Dawn was one of them. But you know what I'm always looking for? Uh, the game that I've always wanted and I've never been able to get my hands on. Um, it does just doesn't exist uh, at the moment, I don't believe. So in order to run this grinder, um, we need wow four zero nine six watts, one twenty eight of torque. Hey, isn't that the output of a windmill? Yeah, four thousand ninety six kilowatts. Well, only four newton meters at one thousand twenty four radians. Getting this to 128 newton meters would require a really big gear ratio, and it would be a sub. Oh. <laughs> but I could run it by wind, but it'd be much better to run it on gas. 5,476. Especially now that we have a, a steady supply. I ran out of uh, great wood leaves there, so we'll just stick some more in. Our uh, stone is done, so we'll let it get back to that. And let's just make another gasoline engine. Shoot ya. Yeah. Gasoline. And I won't have to actually uh, put any sort of a gearbox on it. So, a 2x to gear unit. Doop. Uh, what was I going to say a moment ago? Now I've forgotten. I've always wanted a game where uh, your decisions affect the environment. And uh, that's how Grim Dawn works. So you'll do a mission for someone, and then when you uh, complete it and hand it in, it will upgrade the, uh, the town that the people are in. Like, right away. It'll change the appearance. Like, um... So uh, I had to help a guy fix a windmill, and as soon as I gave him the parts, boom, the windmill that was next to him got fixed and started turning. It was pretty sweet. And then there was a woman, and she uh, wanted, she's a tailor, and she wanted um, cloth fabric so that she could uh, make new canopies for over these destroyed buildings. Um, because the canopies they had over their heads were all full of holes, and they were really crappy. I need gold and Electrum. So I gave her uh, okay, gold dust and silver grit. Put that there. Uh, silver grit mixed with gold dust gives us Electrum. I've got sugar in my inventory for some reason still. Let us just throw, not the sugar, the Electrum into there. And I really like that. I like the fact that the stuff that I do affected the uh, environment. Because once I gave her the fabric, all the a bunch, all the canopies got um, upgraded. Instead of being full of holes, they were new. And, and they actually, uh, areas that weren't covered with uh, canopies at all got covered with canopies. It was really, really sweet. It really makes you feel like you're making a difference in the lives of the people that are in the settlement there. So... I, uh, I want more games to do that. So if you guys know of any games like, of any other games like that, let me know, because I, that, that would, uh, definitely be in my interest. Okay, so now I just need the gold ingot. I should have grabbed it before, but whatever. They look very shiny. They're not, they're like, not buttery. I mean, they're kind of buttery. It kind of looks like a butter ingot still. Um, oh yeah, not only can I not make it here. But I need base panels. And I need that shaft unit. I should not. I always do that. I always throw out the thing that I actually need. Alright. So let's get over here. And. Do. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Why doesn't it work? I don't know. I always have this problem. Stuff doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. I guess I can turn it into scrap for some reason. Do 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 shaft units impeller at the bottom 
Nope, not base. It's base panels. Fool. No. So yeah, that's what I like about Grim Dawn. Um, I also quite like... I've, I've got some really nice loot. And I've, I've been really enjoying the amount of loot that I've been having. 128 newton meters, yep. That is the, uh... That is the minimum speed. So let's just throw some ethanol in there, shall we? Well, there's no point. I don't have any canola yet. So we gotta get that. Let's see, how much lava have we made so far? 8,476 millibuckets. Not quite enough. Uh, we're gonna need quite a bit more. So I'm gonna need to feed some more cobblestone in here. But, we're up and running. And it'll stay running for about 47 minutes. Sweet. So we're uh, making some serious progress here. We're upgrading. We got our lava. Now, as soon as we get our obsidian, the first thing I need to do is get enough obsidian to make another portal somewhere safe. Uh, and then we need to gear the heck up um, with our tech guns. So yeah, I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for future episodes. Um, don't forget to join our Discord. Seriously, it's gonna be it, it, it's it's great. Join the Discord. You won't regret it. Um, I'm looking to do some interesting things with the fans, with you guys, and I think the best place to do that would be the Discord. Um, you know, it's free. You don't have to be a patron to join. Just uh, follow the link in the description and join the Discord. I'm in there all the time, literally all day. I'm in there all day. So you know, as long as I I don't seem to get notifications right, but I'm in there all day. So if you want to talk to me, that's the best place to do it. Anyway, follow me on Twitter if you want to be notified um, when it, when the videos go up. Uh, Subscribe for more of this. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.